In the world of rock and roll royalty, Lisa Marie Presley held a mysterious allure, tightly guarding her deepest secrets and personal moments. As the only child of the legendary Elvis Presley, her life was a fascinating blend of public spectacle and private complexity. Tragically, her untimely death left many stories untold and many secrets closely held. Today, we dive deep into the enigmatic world of Lisa Marie Presley, unveiling the top 10 secrets she kept close to her heart. These revelations provide a rare glimpse into the personal struggles, cherished moments, and intimate connections of a woman who navigated the overwhelming shadow of her father's legacy while forging her own path. Join us as we explore the hidden depths of Lisa Marie Presley's life, uncovering the secrets that she took with her to the grave. 10. The Secret Job in Sussex In a quaint village in Sussex, England, Lisa Marie Presley embarked on an unexpected chapter that diverged sharply from her life as a music royalty, a stint working in a local fish and chip van. This venture was far more than a whimsical escape. It was a deliberate step towards blending into the rhythm of village life, seeking a slice of normalcy far removed from the glare of her celebrity status. Amidst the crisp air in the rolling English countryside, Lisa Marie found a temporary refuge where she could engage with everyday people on a very ordinary level. The fish and chip van, owned by local pub proprietors Kim and Justin Scales, became Lisa Marie's unlikely workplace. Donning an apron and serving up traditional British fare, she delighted in the anonymity that came with her role. For Lisa Marie, this was a rare opportunity to step out of the shadow cast by her famous surname in experienced life without the preconceptions typically afforded to someone of her fame. Her involvement in the van was met with amusement and at times disbelief by patrons who did not immediately recognize the daughter of Elvis Presley behind the counter. This secret job was a testament to Lisa Marie's desire to connect with life in its simplest forms, serving food, sharing smiles, and experiencing the camaraderie of small town life. It highlighted her longing to experience a sense of community and belonging that is often sacrificed in the isolated echelons of fame. In these moments, hidden away from the limelight in the Sussex village, Lisa Marie wasn't just the heir to the Presley legacy. She was a friend, a neighbor, and for a brief cherished while, just another face in the crowd. This chapter of her life, while brief, was a profound statement of her quest for authenticity and normalcy amidst the extraordinary circumstances of her life. Nine, the secret gift. In a poignant moment of private mourning, Lisa Marie Presley, at the tender age of nine, grappled with the gravity of her father's passing. In an act of deep personal significance, she chose to place a secret gift inside Elvis Presley's coffin, a simple yet profoundly meaningful metal bracelet. This bracelet was not just any piece of jewelry, it was a symbol of her undying connection to her father, a token of love from a daughter to her departed dad. The decision to include this gift was shrouded in secrecy, a deliberate choice to maintain its sanctity away from the prying eyes of the public and the media frenzy surrounding Elvis's funeral. The handling of this intimate gesture was meticulously planned. Just before the doors of the venue were opened, allowing thousands of grieving fans to pay their final respects, Lisa Marie and her mother, Priscilla, were escorted to Elvis's side for a last private moment. It was here that Lisa Marie, with the solemnity that such a moment deserved, asked the funeral director to ensure her gift was securely placed with Elvis. This act was carried out with such discretion that only a select few were aware of its occurrence. Ensuring that the bracelet remained a personal farewell, hidden from the world, safeguarded under the cuff of Elvis's attire. This careful preservation of privacy highlights the depth of Lisa Marie's relationship with her father, marking a silent vow of everlasting bond between the king of rock and roll and his beloved daughter. Eight, the empty seat at Graceland. Within the grand walls of Graceland, a tradition subtly yet powerfully symbolized Lisa Marie Presley's enduring bond with her father, Elvis Presley. At the family's expansive dining table, an empty seat always remained a poignant tribute to the rock and roll icon who once filled the home with life and music. This reserved seat wasn't just a physical space. It represented Lisa Marie's hope and the cherished memories of a daughter who grew up in the shadow of a global superstar. 
Each empty chair at each gathering served as a silent acknowledgement of Elvis's lasting presence in her life and the lives of all who entered the home. The emotional significance of this gesture reached deep into the heart of familial bonds and personal loss. It reflected Lisa Marie's ongoing connection with her father, a relationship that transcended his death and continued to influence her life profoundly. The empty seat was more than a memorial. It was a statement of love, a testament to the undying influence of Elvis on his daughter's life. By maintaining this tradition, Lisa Marie not only honored her father's legacy, but also shared with the world a very personal piece of her heart. Her resilience and commitment to keeping the spirit of Elvis alive in the most intimate of family settings. This practice at Graceland was a touching reminder of her devotion and a visual expression of her internal, never-ending dialogue with her father, who, though gone, was forever seated at her table. Seven, the upstairs rooms at Graceland. Graceland, the iconic home of Elvis Presley, is a place of pilgrimage for millions, yet the most intimate parts of it remain shrouded in secrecy, preserved by Lisa Marie Presley's careful choices. Among these, the decision to keep the upstairs rooms private stands out as a poignant testament to her deep respect and enduring love for her father. These areas, once alive with the daily moments of Elvis's life, have been maintained as a personal sanctuary, a sacred space where the presence of the king of rock and roll still lingers. Lisa Marie ensured that these rooms remained untouched, a shrine to her father where time seems to stand still and the outside world is held at bay. In the depths of Graceland, there exists a special unseen room filled with Elvis's personal belongings, a treasure trove of his life and legacy that few eyes have ever seen. This room, zealously guarded and hidden from the public gaze, holds items of inestimable emotional value, costumes, personal letters, music, and photographs that tell the story of Elvis's life in vivid, personal detail. The secrecy surrounding this room speaks volumes about its significance to Lisa Marie, who viewed it as a private link to her father, a place where she could connect with his spirit away from the eyes of the world. This hidden chamber, marked only by an employees-only sign, stands as a symbol of Lisa Marie's role as the keeper of her father's flame, ensuring that the most personal memories of Elvis are preserved with dignity and respect. Six, struggles with grief and isolation. The tragic death of her son Benjamin plunged Lisa Marie Presley into profound grief, casting long shadows over her life and bringing with it a period of intense personal struggle. In the wake of such an unimaginable loss, Lisa Marie withdrew from the public eye, seeking solace in the privacy of her own solitude. Her world, once filled with the demands of public appearances and the pressures of living up to the Presley legacy, narrowed dramatically as she grappled with her pain. The loss of Benjamin was not just a moment of personal tragedy, but a continual source of sorrow that deeply affected her ability to engage with the world around her. In her search for healing, Lisa Marie turned to various means to cope with her grief. Among these was her intermittent return to the Church of Scientology, a place where she had sought answers and comfort at various points throughout her life. Her relationship with the church was complex and fluctuating, reflecting her ongoing quest for peace and understanding in the midst of her suffering. This return to Scientology, whether for spiritual solace or community support, highlighted her struggle to find a stable path forward. Despite her efforts, those close to her observed that her grief was a heavy cloak that she never fully shed, influencing her interactions and her rare public appearances. Lisa Marie's journey through grief and isolation paints a poignant picture of a woman battling immense personal demons, all while under the watchful eyes of a world that never fully grasped the depth of her private pain. Five, life of isolation. In the twilight years of her life, Lisa Marie Presley found herself caught between two contrasting realities, the inevitable public appearances that her heritage demanded and a profound desire for seclusion that deepened after the heartbreaking loss of her son, Benjamin. This oscillation marked a significant chapter in her life, one characterized by a palpable tension between her public persona and private anguish. Each public outing became more sporadic and notably strained, revealing the toll that her son's death had taken on her spirit. The glimpses of her at events were marked by a quiet solemnity, a far cry from the vibrant presence she once was. 
Behind the scenes, Lisa Marie retreated into a life of significant isolation, choosing to spend lengthy periods in the sanctity of her own privacy, away from the relentless glare of the media. Her home became her refuge, a place where she could mourn away from the public eye and grapple with her grief without the world's scrutiny. This seclusion was not just a response to her personal tragedy, but also a protective measure, shielding her vulnerable heart from further exposure. Even as she maintained her ties to Graceland and her family's legacy, her personal interactions became fewer and more guarded, indicating a profound shift in her approach to life and fame. Her final years, thus, were a delicate balance of honoring her father's memory in public while nurturing her wounded soul in private, a dual existence that few could fully understand or appreciate. 4. Complicated Relationship with Priscilla Presley The relationship between Lisa Marie Presley and her mother Priscilla was layered with complexity and emotional turbulence, particularly highlighted during the tumultuous times of Lisa Marie's divorce from Michael Lockwood and the devastating period following Benjamin's death. This mother-daughter dynamic, often played out in the harsh spotlight of public scrutiny, underwent periods of intense strain and heartfelt reconciliation, reflecting the profound impacts of their shared yet individual tragedies. During her divorce from Michael Lockwood, Lisa Marie faced not only the dissolution of her marriage, but also the challenge of navigating a relationship with her mother that became particularly strained. Priscilla's perceived alliance with Lockwood during the legal battles only served to deepen the rift between her and Lisa Marie, adding a layer of familial conflict to an already painful time. This period was marked by public and legal confrontations, with Lisa Marie grappling with issues of trust and betrayal, not just from a partner, but heartbreakingly from within her own family as well. However, the true depth of their complex relationship was most poignantly revealed following the death of Lisa Marie's son, Benjamin. In the wake of this unimaginable loss, the barriers that had once divided mother and daughter began to crumble, replaced by a renewed need for support and understanding. Priscilla stepped in to offer solace to Lisa Marie, bridging their past differences with the shared goal of navigating their profound grief. This rekindled connection underscored the resilient bonds of family, illustrating how tragedy can sometimes serve as a catalyst for healing and forgiveness. The emotional landscape of their relationship, fraught with challenges, ultimately revealed a deep-seated bond capable of withstanding even the harshest storms of life. 3. The Alarming Red Carpet Appearance Lisa Marie Presley's final public appearance at the Golden Globes was not just a moment captured by countless cameras, but also a poignant snapshot of a woman battling private health challenges that were largely kept away from the public eye. At this high-profile event, held just two days before her untimely passing, Lisa Marie's physical condition struck a concerning note among those who witnessed her. Her movements were unsteady, her balance precarious, and her speech noticeably slower than usual, hinting at serious underlying health issues that she had managed to shield from the public scrutiny until then. On the red carpet, where stars typically shine with vitality and glamour, Lisa Marie appeared notably different. The gravity of her appearance was such that it left an indelible mark on observers, including veteran television host Billy Bush, who later recounted the encounter with a tone of worry. He noted her struggle even with simple steps in her slow, deliberate speech, which was a departure from her usual demeanor. Her condition was such that she required assistance to navigate the event safely, relying on her manager to steady her as she walked. This appearance was not only alarming, but also deeply telling. It revealed the extent to which Lisa Marie was grappling with personal health battles behind the scenes, confronting challenges that she preferred to face away from the public's gaze. The stark contrast between her visible frailty and her enduring public persona as the resilient daughter of Elvis Presley underscored the private versus public dichotomy that she navigated throughout her life. This final appearance while raising concerns also highlighted her determination to honor her father's legacy even in the face of her own distressing health struggles. Two, the safe place. In the vast expanse of Graceland, a mansion teeming with memories and history, there was one sanctuary where Lisa Marie Presley found solace from the world, Elvis Presley's untouched bedroom. This room, preserved exactly as he had left it, became Lisa Marie's refuge, 
a place steeped in the essence of her father, where the outside world and its relentless demands could not reach her. For Lisa Marie, this room was not just a physical space, but an emotional haven where she could reconnect with the father she lost too soon and find peace amid the chaos of life lived in the public eye. Elvis's bedroom, with its decor from the 1970s, including shag carpets, a black bed, and red walls, maintained the flamboyant style characteristic of Elvis himself. It was here in this private enclave, high above the throngs of tourists visiting Graceland, that Lisa Marie felt closest to Elvis. The room's atmosphere, a blend of nostalgia and sanctity, seemed to hold the very spirit of Elvis, offering Lisa Marie a profound sense of connection to her father. It was as if time stood still within these walls, allowing daughter and father to share moments together in spirit. The significance of this safe place went beyond mere nostalgia. It was an anchor for Lisa Marie in the tumultuous seas of her own life. She treasured the privacy and the connection it afforded her, keeping it zealously guarded from the public eye. In this room, she could drop the weight of expectation and simply be Elvis's daughter, not the celebrity, not the caretaker of a legacy, but just Lisa Marie. This bedroom, a capsule of her father's essence, offered her a respite, a place to recharge and to cherish the unspoken bond between father and daughter, making it the most sacred of havens in her often scrutinized life. One, friendship with the Duchess of York. Among the constellation of relationships that Lisa Marie Presley nurtured throughout her life, one of the most unexpected and profound was her friendship with Sarah Ferguson, the Duchess of York. This friendship spanned across continents and social strata, illustrating Lisa Marie's ability to connect deeply beyond the confines of the music and celebrity worlds. Their bond was not just a meeting of two public figures, but a genuine heartfelt connection that offered each woman a respite from their public lives and personal tribulations. Sarah Ferguson and Lisa Marie Presley first crossed paths while Lisa Marie was living in Sussex, England with her then husband, Michael Lockwood. Their initial meeting blossomed into a friendship that was nurtured by mutual understanding and shared experiences of living under intense public scrutiny. The Duchess, often in the media spotlight for her own personal and family challenges, found a kindred spirit in Lisa Marie, who knew all too well the pressures and pitfalls of fame. Their relationship was built on a foundation of empathy and support, with Lisa Marie providing a comforting presence for Ferguson during her most challenging times. The depth of their connection was such that Ferguson publicly mourned Lisa Marie's passing with a poignant tribute, highlighting their deep emotional ties. She referred to Lisa Marie not just as a friend, but as a sister, underscoring the intensity of their bond. This friendship extended support in times of need, with Lisa Marie even offering refuge at her home in Hawaii, a gesture that speaks volumes about her generous and nurturing nature. Through this unlikely friendship, Lisa Marie demonstrated her capacity for deep and enduring connections, transcending her identity as a music icon to touch the lives of those around her in meaningful, lasting ways. Throughout this journey into the hidden corridors of Lisa Marie Presley's life, we've uncovered secrets that reveal a woman of profound depth and complexity. From the poignant secret gift she placed in her father's coffin to her unexpected job in a Sussex fish and chip van, each story peels back the layers of her very public persona to reveal a private individual striving for connection, normalcy, and peace. Her life, marked by both bright public spotlights and deep personal shadows, showcases her relentless pursuit of a path defined by her own desires and dreams, not just the legacy of her father. The empty seat at the Graceland dining table, her private sanctuary within her father's untouched bedroom, and her meaningful friendships outside the music industry illustrate a woman who cherished her roots yet continuously sought to carve out her own identity. These glimpses into her life challenge us to reflect on the enduring legacy of Lisa Marie Presley, a legacy shaped by her talents, her choices, and her quiet acts of love and resilience. As we close this chapter on the secrets Lisa Marie took to the grave, let us celebrate the memory of a woman born into extraordinary circumstances who navigated her path with courage and sincerity. We invite you to share your thoughts, reflections, and any additional insights you might have about Lisa Marie Presley in the comments below. What do you think was the most surprising secret? Could there be more that we still don't know? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. Let's keep the conversation going. 
Your engagement helps us continue to explore and share these stories, honoring legacies like Lisa Marie's with the thoughtfulness and depth they deserve. So what are your thoughts on this? Sound off in the comments section down below and don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel for celebrity news and updates every day.